WNYT, Albany in HD. News Channel 13, live at noon, begins right now. A new report is coming out on the Jerry Sandusky child sex abuse scandal. We'll tell you what may be in the report coming up. A hearing is being held for two former Penn State leaders today accused of lying to a grand jury. Authorities say former athletic director Tim Curley and former Vice President Gary Schultz failed to alert police about Jerry Sandusky. Last month, a former assistant football coach was convicted on 45 counts of sexual abuse. Results from an independent investigation ordered by the school's trustees are expected to be released tomorrow, and it's expected to show just how much Joe Paterno and other Penn State officials knew about the scandal. Paterno's family issued a statement saying the late coach did not know Sandusky was a pedophile. Well, this news obviously is has been a nightmare for many, many parents. So we're going to talk about some difficult things here with pediatrician Dr. Diane Tenpalm from St. Peter's Hospital. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Obviously, it is a difficult topic just to talk about amongst adults, let alone your own children. To bring Absolutely. This you know, I come on here all the time and I always try and work in something about car seats and bike helmets. We can talk about sunscreen and summer safety and protective gear and what the statistics are all day long it's much easier to talk about those things but just because this is hard to talk about in my mind as a general pediatrician I don't think that relieves us of our responsibility to really take care of these children and these families as a doctor you have seen unfortunate cases come into your own uh, uh, rooms it at is, the hospital it is unfortunately more common than any of us would really like us to you know would really like to believe um, there's a statistic that one in six females by the time they are 18 years old have experienced some form of sexual abuse. Now that's not necessarily what you and I think of as happening with unfortunately the allegations related to Sandusky, but it doesn't excuse the fact that there are some things that I think as physicians and as families, as parents, we need to be able to arm our children with some tools. So what's the best way to at least just start the conversation in your opinion? You know, there are different ways, different people will talk about different things and I always want to direct families back to the American. American Academy of Pediatrics website. There's a portion in the Healthy Kids section that sort of deals with these issues. Uh, probably around age four is when you can, as a parent, begin to discuss these things with children. I think as a pediatrician, one of the things we build in, at least in our office with our physicals, is saying, you know, I have to check your private parts now and remember only mom or whomever that mm -hmm. caregiver is with us in the room and the doctor do this. The other thing I always Always throw in is and it's really only okay for me to do it because your parent is here so letting them know that these are private parts but at the same time also teaching children when they're young when they're two or three years old what the appropriate names for these body parts are so that they understand yes it's a body part there's no mysticism around it yet it's still a private part and they have the ability and the power to decide who can touch those things and who can't 60% of abusers are family friends according to this statistic 30 percent family and just 10 percent strangers so that's important to talk with your children about as well absolutely one of the things that we talk about uh, with kids as they're getting older again in some of our visits is you know we don't always know what bad guys look like and sometimes they don't look like bad guys sometimes they're not guys sometimes they're people that you know but this is about controlling what happens to your body the other thing that I think is really important for children to understand is that no matter what somebody he tells them that as children they can always come to us as parents and physicians and tell us what happened as parents I think it's important that we believe our children that we take these allegations seriously right don't just think they're making this up dr. Diane Tenenbaum joining us thank you very much for being here thank you